Hello everyone! <laughs> Welcome once again to Infinity Thinner Games. My name's Elliot Baker and I'm joined by Chris Yules today. Hello! And we're Back. unboxing something special, aren't we? So we've got um, we've got the new Flames of War starter box, the LLA main box. Um, my my world to history is poor at best, but I've heard about LLA main. <laughs> least, so. Yes, I think most people have heard about the Battle of LLA main. LLA main. It's very hard to say from my tongue. Yes. Though. So this is um, this is the Flames of War re-release because it went away for a bit. Mm. It's the fourth edition, from my understand. Ah, so right, it's okay. uh, it's the latest edition of the uh, Flames of War. Uh, it's Wargaming, and let's have a look and see what's inside. Yeah, so this is um, 1 in 100 scale tank warfare. Mm. Uh, they've got a bit of troops in there as well, yeah. so we've got lots of stuff. In the box. Lots of sprues. Lots of sprues. Right, let's go through box. it first. Well, we have a nice cardboard terrain card for El Alamein. So, there you go, they're a, pun they're a punch card. So just punch them out and should be one. And it looks like there's two... Two cardboards of worth there, so yeah. So we got different, two, yeah, yeah. So two plates, lots of lots of um, buildings and stuff like that. Obviously, it's a and you see the shapes. You can just about see the shapes in the back there. I think we could probably have them out, but I don't really, yeah. Yeah, let's actually take them out. So we got a couple of box and D6s. So that's what this is going to be running on. You've got a nice little pocket pocket version of the rules. Um, you've also got a get started sort of guide. So um, I'm going to need that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna need this to put some of these tanks together. So it's the British versus obviously as Elamon was the British versus the Germans. Uh, you've got a quick assembly guide on how the tanks go together. Relatively simple. If you've been playing about with any of the tank stuff, it's gonna be very similar. But yeah, because uh, also we've also been looking at Team Yankee because we've recently got that in the shop as well. Yes, yeah, so we'll be doing a, a there'll be a blog post about Team Yankee coming up. Maybe a video. We'll see how well yeah. we get through this one. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we've got some building terrain cards. We have some uh, bailed out cards as well as yeah, we got some tokens, ace tokens and stuff. I imagine these might be deployment markers. These little L shaped ones. Uh, right? Yeah, I should think so. That's probably oh, they're they're walls. There you go. Ah, oh, there you go. They're walls. Yeah, you get a couple more here, which are a different size, a couple more buildings, a double building, uh, and two El Alamein. Oh yeah, this is probably using take, um, standard like tape meshes, because it's the same thing as um, yes. uh, Team Yankee does. Yeah, so you've got uh, assembly guards on all the tanks, so the British have got the Grant and the Crusader 2 and 3, uh, and the Germans have got the Panzers. Lots of different variants of the Panzer. Speaking of the, uh, the tanks themselves, they actually come in a handy little card reference form now. So as you can see, we have them there. This is the Panzer, yeah. the Panzer IV, we the, the Panzer III, uh, unarmoured version of Panzer III, the Crusader II and three, the Crusader II, uh, the Grant, and yeah. some and got movement. Some little quick reference guides. Quick as reference well. guides as well, uh, which are actually got are actually German and. Uh, English in terms of their background. So a bit of thematic stuff going on there. Yeah, so um, we've also got um, a quick start guide, which is which is nice, so you don't have to immediately dive into the rules, but I imagine if you're a, an experienced player you can dive straight into the rules. But it's, also, it's always good to go through the through the first game, because that's how the that's how the designers envision you going through it. Mm. Um, so there's just how to play it. Um, and then there's a couple of missions in here as well. And then there's your nice little casual advertisement in yeah. the back. Yes, yes. Here's, yes. here's what to do next. So you do have the quick start guide, and of course you have the very lovely, very thick rule book here, which is tells up. Well, it's, it's a nice little, it's a nice yeah. little pocket pocket rule book. Yeah, it's a nice size. It's very, it's not too bulky. It's not too big. It's uh, 116 pages, but it actually doesn't feel like is it, that. Has it got a glossary? It, it's, it's got a glossary at the back. Okay, that's good. I think. Yeah, so you've got yeah. a nice summary yeah. of all the things. Again, if you've had a look at the team, you have an index. So it's got a thing, and it's got an index. Uh, which is, I was playing bubble on Saturday and I was complaining that there wasn't an index in the back of the book when I was trying to find something. It's small enough to fit in a small satchel bag that you can yeah. take with you. Yeah. Or, so in, or any win win bag that you bring with you. Well, yeah, it's it's nice because the yeah. models are very small. Um, I'm not sure, entirely sure, because we've also got five models in this box, but I'm not entirely sure how big the, the forces are going to get. As so it's, it's very very possible to put them in like a small bag. I mean, if you see, there as well. Carson, there's my hand compared to the tank, and you can just about see that it fits in the palm of your hand, almost quite literally. So yeah. very small uh, models there. Very small sort of matchbox 
size yes, tanks. Yes, very much so. Uh, speaking as someone who's not really a modeler, uh, this instantly does a bit seem a bit daunting to myself because you know I've never really worked with sprues before. Uh, but I know that you're very experienced with yeah. the use of sprues. Um, they are they are quite detailed. Are they uh, snap fit or are they? Uh, no, no, no. These are these are most definitely plastic, but they have got like lots of aids, like the the hull. It's actually got indentations on it. And the tracks, so you can tell which side's which. I so see. one side has three, and one side has two, so you don't put the tracks on the way around. That's actually really good of them to think um, about the possibility. But no, that. I've put a lot of the, um, I've put a couple of the uh, tanks kits together, and the um, Team Yankee tanks, and they're very easy. They are, when it comes to the detail, they can get a little bit fiddly. Yes, they're not, yes. Like, there's a tiny bit there that's a fuel tank, so it's like a jerry can. Yeah, so, I see that's, that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's quite small. But that's getting, very small. Getting the base tank together should be relatively simple because um, the turrets are like one or two pieces, and then you just have the guns on them. Yeah, it's more the detail parts that are more the thirdly parts yeah. of the tank. Well, like most kits, it's always an option to put yes. some detail on them. They're not requirements; they are yeah. really options. And you've got because um, you've got lots of different versions, so there are there. It's indicated on the instructions with um, dots, actually, a different color. To which tank you're building, because obviously they've got different um, different turrets, and different, different size cannons, yeah. and stuff like that. Especially when it comes to the the Panzer, mm. the Panzer III, which mm. has three different variants. Yeah, the, yeah, that's very cannon. important for the for the Crusaders one and two and three, as well as the Panzer III, the, the three unarmored, and the Panzer IV. Yeah. So do pay attention when you're building them of which one you yes, actually want always, to build. Always follow the instructions. I know that um, for an ex for. Like, in general, most people, if they've built something in the past, they can look at these and go, oh, yeah, that bit goes on there, that bit goes on there. But is it, is it always good to look to read the instructions? Because they... I've, I've built things in the past and I haven't read the instructions. And that's not a good it rarely good. turns out well for It anyone. rarely turns out well. I've put many, many uh, arms holding bolt guns and trying to get the more arms to match is impossible. But yeah, so that's that's everything. Um, not quite. We do have... Uh, oh, we've you, got some little... You glossed over it very quickly, but we do have uh, small very sprues in a plastic bag, which actually have... They're, they're the crew. Actual crew, which you can have sitting out of the turret itself or even in, in the tanks. Yeah, so uh, you've got... Seat. Um, one half is our like German crew and the other half is um, the British crew, I think. Yes, because what? Because the British crew, I think, are all wearing berets. I think, uh, and they've all got moustaches, apart from, apart from one. <laughs> that's how you can tell a British officer. They've all got moustaches. That's how you can tell because they've got they've got moustaches. But yeah, um, I normally don't tend to dudes poking out of my tank because it's like you're in the tank, stay in the tank, you don't get shot. <laughs> yes, yeah. It just, um, um, again, it's an option that you can do. Yeah, it's an option. They've all got options, which is nice. It's always good to see kits with options because then you get to customise and personalise them so they are your tanks so there we are yeah so that's that's everything that comes in the box yeah let's have a bit of a closer look at a few things though yeah. let's have a look at uh, these and actually punch them out I think so we do have uh, two fairly good sized buildings here along with a third this is where the punch cardboard really wants to hate me today yeah and then we got we've got a double building it's just a nice bit of terrain obviously these are used for the missions uh, you've got some walls, and then we've got I don't know these are objectives. I'll have to look at the book in a minute. Sorry, mm, do that. So you've got a good. Oops. So you've got those as well, which I'm not entirely sure what those are. So yeah, we got we got five, says in there. We have five uh, building terrain pieces. So if you're an old time user of uh, Flames of War. I imagine they might be compatible with the older sets if you're interested in Atlanta Main itself. Yeah, and of course you can um, replace those because they've got some terrain kits as well for the Atlanta Main, so like the the desert buildings and stuff like that. So you could replace those, replace these with those. We also have some very nice wall pieces here, which there are some more on the other uh, cardboard punch, Yeah, I've got which is a lot smaller, so there they are, a bit smaller there. Uh, so they're used for building the terrain pieces. We also have uh, five more tokens here, which one is two of them say pinned down, uh, bailed out. So basically, someone. So they're obviously they're um, conditions in the game that can be applied yes. to the tanks because, uh, well, in in tanks, which is yeah, I'm gonna say this is probably a bit more complex than the tanks is. But yeah, you guys can you guys can jump out yeah. when someone decides to 
We also have an ace marker for your elite units. Yeah, so that's um, that's for the last mission which is in here, which is what's it called? Tank ace. So yes. one down the bottom. A small, tiny little token with just ace written on it. Yeah, very simple. Just to mark out who's a tank ace in the mission. There you go. And that's what's on this cardboard. Yeah. Cut out. And of course, and the other one as well. Uh, these both like our objectives. So let's actually read through the scenario very, very quickly for the viewers. Very quickly. Yeah, so we've got the building instructions. We've got um, the first game, which uses quite a few of the buildings. Um, so it just it just has you briefly it briefly explains um, all of the um, the tanks, the tank stack cards. There we go. That's those are the words I was looking for. <laughs> um, so it's uh, basically explaining. It starts by explaining movement, like what kind of movement you can do, because. Um, mm. The terrain you go over actually affects how fast you can move in this game. So, like, if you're on a road, you can move a lot faster than you can move on. Um, yeah, it, across, men it mentions here. Uh, it does use inches, so it is measured here using well, it standard. uses um, much like Team Yankee. It uses inches and centimeters, so you can use either. Mm -hmm. um, I probably use inches because my tape measure is obviously a GW one, so it's it's using inches anyway. It does mention here as well. For example, using the Grant as an. Uh, Example, uh, tactical, it's 10 inches, 15 centimeters, uh, or 25 centimeters. Uh, terrain dash is 30 centimeters, 12 inches. Mm. Uh, cross country dash, 18 inches, 45 centimeters. Road dash, 20 inches and 50 centimeters. And cross is plus four, uh, or four plus, which I don't know what that is, but we'll. Uh, sure I would we'll imagine that's. Um, yeah, so this is mo it's moving over terrain. Yeah, there it's you basically go. like a like a akin to a dangerous terrain, yes. terrain roll. It's basically showing how good the tank is at getting over like strange obstacles, like like f fallen debris and walls and stuff like that. So then it explains the shooting step. So obviously on the bottom half of the cards, you've got the guns that are equipped, um, depending upon which version of the tank you have. And because obviously they had more than one gun, so you've got like anti-personnel uh, machine guns and then cannons yes we like have that. the the grant hull the 75 millimeter and the grant turret to the 37 millimeter as well as the machine gun as well so yeah. yeah and then it's got a quick reference guide on um doing attack roll so it's it's very much like check your line of sight check your concealment so it's like a cover save um rolled hit and then your opponent gets a save and then all that kind of stuff so it's it's basically boiled down to its essence, and then the rule book will obviously go over yeah, in I mean, a bit more detail. This is this is a lot more complicated than uh, the tank dimensions game. It does have yeah. different uh, vehicles have different stats uh, for their armor, depending on the front whether it's uh, the front, side, and rear, and of course the top as well. Yeah. So it seems back to see that we only get artillery. Because you're gonna, you're, you're eventually going to see like um, like I imagine like Spitfires and um, yes, yeah. Uh, German planes, come on. Uh, Messerschmitts? Messerschmitts, yeah. Messerschmitts? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know what kind of... What's the other one? The Fokker Wolf? Is that a full... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I, yeah. But you'll see, as you'll a plane see, buff, I should know this. You'll <laughs> see ground. You'll see ground attack craft because um, as as we've been looking as we've been looking at Team Yankee, mm -hmm. they've got similar thing. Immediately, they've got helicopters as well, but you can get like um, Harrier jump jets and stuff. Oh yes, yes. In, in and of course, uh, don't forget that we there is artillery you can get as well. Yes. So they would. So also the the top armor d yeah. will come into will come into matter. And then it explains, goes over um, opponent save rolls, um, and it ends the turn, and then it goes over the starting step, so uh, that's lots of things to do with um, damage and the bravery of the guys inside the tank, and in some cases guys can actually jump out of the tank, as we've seen um, from certain results, mm, mm. and you can see if you can rally them and get them, up, get them back in the tank. Okay. So yeah, that's the, that's the little quick start guide. Obviously, you've played. There's three missions in there, so once you've played them, you will hopefully be more familiar with the game, As and some, then you'd move on to the yeah the, the, the proper rulebook. As someone who is more experienced in miniature war gamers, what do you think looking at the contents of El Alamé? I like it. It's nice. It's a nice little nice little starter set. Um, I really appreciate the quick start guide because um, that's something that uh, I haven't seen any of the um, Team Yankee stuff because I'm sorry. Still trying to get my head around the force org in that game. It's like it's it's probably very simple. I'm just it's baffling me at the moment. I mean, but it's it's a it's a classic it's a classic little starter set. Uh, it's really nice. You get you get your tanks. They look relatively simple to put together. 
Um, you've got the cards. You've got everything you need to play the game out of the box, which is I have apart, to, apart from a tape measure. I have to say that as someone who is, isn't really a miniature game player, and yes, I play things like X-Wing and Attack Wing, but I wouldn't really call those like the hobby hobby miniature games. Mm. You know, they're not like uh, where you're actually assembling your uh, items to use. I am actually very intrigued by this, and it looks to me like it's a combination of a classic um, kit with sprues, but also with some very very new age stuff like uh, the cardboard cutout stuff, the, the reference cards, the starter guide even. Yeah. Uh, not many miniature games that I've seen actually come with a simple starter guide. Um, yeah, well, the the seventh the seventh ed um, starter box for forty k um, Dark Vengeance that that does come with a with a starter book, but that does again it it does suffer from like the common starter thing, which is sometimes it doesn't contain the arms you want to start, and in something like forty k that's Quite important, so a lot of people will go for like the start collecting boxes, but yeah, no, this, this, as I said, this is really nice. Yes, it's really sort of uh, someone, someone's got it for their birthday and they want to play it, and so you grab your starter guide, put your tanks together, and then in the afternoon, play a game or two. Feels like good plastic as well, high quality. Yeah, yeah, it's again, then they're, they're nice, they're nice little kits. Um, again, just um, standard poly. Poly cement will put these guys together. No, <laughs> nothing fancy required, which is always good because that's you want to get playing as soon as possible. Yeah, you want to get playing. You want to get playing as soon as possible, and you don't want to be bogged down with um, super glue and having to clean them up because they're relatively they're relatively clean. So there's going to be very little. Only when you remove them from the sprue, you have to do any sort of trimming of bits of flash, and there's there's none of that. As always, there. yeah. Uh, the, I mean, to be fair, they actually look like they've been cut fairly well. Um, uh, I mean, even on the sprues, there don't seem to be any glimpses yeah, or anything. Yeah, there's no, there's no like, there's no, there's not much flash. There's probably gonna be some mold lines, but that's that's up to personal but, preference. But the mold lines tend to look like it's on the inside of the the actual model, which is actually nice. You know, it's uh, not often you see someone take considerations like that. Uh, well, that's, it's pretty difficult to do that actually because of the way that the that these things are made mm, mm. to start with. But yeah, so then we've got the. Um, the core cool rule book, as it were. So this will, it's gonna, it's got the quick start guide in it as well. That's, That's cool. handy. So you don't have to carry both around. You can so you, just carry... so you haven't got to carry both around. If you want to teach your friend, then this has got the quick start in it as well. Or eventually, I imagine they'll come out with a possibly a hardback. Mm. Yeah. proper version of it. Well, it's actually also very a very nice book to look at. It's, you know, there's attention being put into yeah, the presentation. Yeah, it's, it's clear. It's 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 nicely formatted. Uh, and on the side you've got down here you've the got the actual uh, section of names. So like it's got quick, quick start, start and you move to stuff like it's got some of the background in it. So for, for, those, for those of us who are not um, especially down on the World War Two history, especially the Battle of El Alamein, you can you've got a bit of reading material on there as well. And then it moves into the the full rules, so the full rules on shooting and artillery. And... Which also provide images as an example as well, which is yeah. really nice, which not a lot of games actually do that, that I've seen at least. I mean, I know that the um, the excellent one provides overhead pictures, but it's not really in the middle of the game kind of situation. And I do like how it's very well present presented in that book. Yeah, so it's very it's, good. It's I nice really like it. You've got missions in here. Hours worth of fun. Yeah, there's, there's, lots, of, there's lots of stuff in here. Again, it's it's in the it's in a similar vein, and then right at the back you've got a a very large reference sort of couple of pages of reference showing you if you're quickly need to reference something when you're playing the game about what what comes after what in what phase mm. and mm. all that good stuff. So what do you think? I'm perfectly happy. With I, this. I like it. I like it a lot. It's it's a nice. It's a good. It's a good starter box. Mm -hmm. And it, obviously, if you if you like one of the arms, you can always pick up mold or starter boxes and. Usually, they're usually a good way to go about things to save yourself a little bit of cash. But yeah, no, I think it's really good. I do too. If you're interested in picking up Flames of War, come down to the store. You can pick up uh, your copy of LLA Main uh, on Saturday, the 11th of March, for twenty two pounds and fifty pence. That's twenty two fifty. So um, yeah. So if you're curious, grab Flames of War. I think it's a really good set. You seem to also yeah, like it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. It's it's a it's a nice little start set. And put it together really well. a good with a good community, I could see a, this becoming a regular miniatures tournament that we run or something yeah. on those lines. So yes, thank you for joining us, everyone. I've been Elliot Baker, joined by yeah, I've, I've been Chris Hills. So, uh, and we'll see you next time.
Take care. Ta-ta, everyone. Bye.